Would you sign my book? Here we go. Today on Scream Rant, we're diving into the whirlwind of disappointments surrounding Argyle the much-anticipated spy thriller directed by the maestro Matthew Vaughn. With a stellar lineup of actors and a hefty $200 million budget, everyone expected this film to be a blockbuster hit. However, as the critical reviews started pouring in, it became clear that Argyle wasn't living up to the hype, with a mere 34% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's break down the top eight reasons behind this unexpected downfall. I certainly hope you dance as well as you dress. There's only one way to find out. First on our list is the poorly written and convoluted plot. Critics are pointing fingers at a muddled storyline that struggles to find its footing. As Peter de Bruges from Variety puts it, Ellie Conway is stuck in a badly written spy comedy, no better than the clumsy one we hear her reading from in the opening scene, with its corny one-liners and triple-cross twists. The Variety review also highlights the lack of originality, suggesting borrowed strokes from adventure movies like The Lost City and Romancing the Stone. Next up, the film's attempts at humor fall flat, leaving audiences unimpressed. Leslie Felperin of The Hollywood Reporter remarks that Argyle may mark a new low, with jokes that struggle to land. Despite its fun premise, the comedic moments fail to hit the mark, raising concerns about the film's overall entertainment value. You don't answer, you're gonna be the same temperature as my coffee right now, which thanks to you is ice cold. Moving on to the visual department, the unconvincing CGI seen throughout Argel is one of the main reasons why the film has disappointed top critics. The Hollywood Reporter called Argel's CGI appallingly shonky looking, while IndieWire called certain scenes of the Matthew Vaughn film CGI drunk. It's evident that the realism of the CGI used in Argyle was not a priority in its $200 million budget, leaving critics and fans to wonder whether it was an intentional choice by Vaughn. IndieWire noted that the poor CGI ran the risk of having viewers ask, are the special effects that bad on purpose? A well-executed celebrity cameo can make movie magic, but Argyle falls into the trap of excessive reliance on them. The Independent calls the cameos aggressive, and Variety deems them collectively too arch to be believed. How many stars does it take to save a sinking ship? Apparently not enough in this case. Argyle faces criticism for being full of fluff and loose ends, making the journey to its grand finale feel arduous. From Rolling Stone's comment about the film, the movie still feels like it's sucking wind right up until the fade-out, while IndieWire refers to most of the film's second act as flimsy and hyper-contrived fluff. It seems the film's lengthy runtime is more a test of patience than a captivating experience. What happens next? It's called a cliffhanger, mother. Ellie, it's called a cop-out. Let's talk cliches. Many of Argyle's top critics have pointed out its glaring similarities to Romancing the Stone, a 1984 action adventure directed by Robert Zemeckis, starring Michael Douglas, Danny DeVito, and Kathleen Turner. There are also stark commonalities with celebrated action franchises such as Bourne, Bond, and Mission Impossible, which by comparison makes Argyle look downright silly. Variety notes that Argyle is so visually unconvincing it stands in stark contrast with Tom Cruise's latest Mission Impossible outing. Brace yourselves for plot twists with no payoff. David Fear of the Rolling Stone wonders if the filmmakers were intentionally testing the audience's tolerance for switcheroos. The Independent describes the twists as having a cheeseburger familiarity that falls short of leaving a lasting impact. Ultimately, many critics agree that Argyle is not the cinematic triumph it promised to be. The Hollywood Reporter suggests the convoluted story and excessive twists feel like vapid pranking. Some even label it snoozeworthy. When a Matthew Vaughn movie isn't fun, it's left without a solid foundation. And there you have it, eight reasons behind the lackluster reviews for Argyle. Have you seen the movie? Do you agree with our review? Be sure to stay tuned for more movie breakdowns from Screen Rant.